everybody, it's me, Laura, the Eggcentric Egg Lady, and today we're going to be doing a fine tech watercolor design on eggshell. And I really loved how this turned out. I, at first, I wasn't quite sure if this was going to work or not, <laughs> but it did turn out great in the end. So right here, I have a chicken egg that's already been prepped with its base on it. I have cleaned it out ahead of time using my bleach, but I'm coming in here with my paintbrush and my black acrylic paint, and I'm going to cover the entire egg and the base with this black. So once I have this entire egg covered in my black um, acrylic paint and it's been dried, I'm coming in here with my pencil and I'm just going to go ahead and create my little design. Now, this is a particular flower I've just fallen in love with because I just do it all the time. <laughs> and since I do, it's like, the biggest rule of thumb for me on this particular flower is it's pretty much a triangular form. So I make my little triangular form with a little bit of a wave right on top, and then I create that bubble on top of that, and then, you know, little side bubbles, if you will. I then come through and I put in my little scrolly kind of work wherever I want it, and then I add in my leaves. So you can go ahead and try to do something very, you know, try and follow me and do it exactly, or just kind of play with it yourself, come up with the design you really like, and create that on your eggshell. Okay, so now that we have our design on our egg, we're going to start bringing in our Fine Tech Premium Watercolor Paints. And these things are fantastic. These paints are all metallic paints, whether they're the pearlescent or the premium set or even the iridescent. They all have a shimmer. They all have a shine. And when you put this down on these eggs, they look fantastic. So if you're wondering what they're like, they're a little bit pricey but to me, they are definitely well worth it. And when you put a, I wanna say the black paint down right away on the eggshell, and then you come in with these, they just shimmer, they shine, they are wonderful. So this particular red that I'm using in the premium colors is the sparkling pink. I'm also gonna be using the high chroma green and then I'm also going to be using a little bit of the um, high reflection gold in this set. I just really think, you know, you'll have a lot of fun with these. And if you don't want to try those and you want to try the other colors, definitely, I encourage. <laughs> have fun. Go off the beaten path. <laughs> Now you'll start to notice here that I leave a little bit of a gap between each piece of the flower here. So there's going to be a little bit of a black line that shows through. And really that's kind of where my graphite line is landing as well. 
and I'm leaving that so I have a little bit of a differentiation between one section and another. It also, if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and leave it where I'm not going to put any kind of extra paint in between those areas. Of course I will. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> I mean, I got, you got to push it, right? You know, anyway, um, you could just leave it black if you wanted, but I decided, you know, I, I wanted to at least put a small line of differentiating between one section and another. And I do this throughout the entire egg. But from here, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch my hands talk, or I should say my paintbrush. <laughs> and I'm going to start coloring in this entire egg.
All right, so now I'm going to start bringing in my Posca metallic green marker. And the more I started looking at this egg after I got do, uh, finishing up with my uh, Fine Tech uh, watercolor paints, I kind of noticed that I was like, okay, there's something missing. It's not working for me. <laughs> what is it that I'm missing that's not really working here? And a lot of it was, you know, I had my line going on and um, that line was all in pencil. And I thought, yeah, I could go ahead, get my paintbrush and try to paint that line with uh, the metallic paints. Um, but the more I should say, or with the, the fine tech paints, but the more I, I thought about it, the more I thought, no, I want something where I have more control over it. And that's where the paintbrush just didn't work for me. I need something I'd have really great control. And the Posca was it. This green metallic um, marker was absolutely the bomb. <laughs> it worked great and it tied in really well with the paints from the fine tech. I was surprised. My green metallic here in the Posca, I was like, wait a minute, wow. It was so close in color that it was like, you could definitely tell the difference. I mean, where I put my line and everything, but it tied in so beautifully. So I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And it was easier, just so much easier for me to control. While I was doing that though, when I was putting in the green, eventually I figured out, you know, I need more than just green here. So you'll be seeing the white in just a little bit. All right, so after doing my green um, Posca marker, I thought, yeah, I need a little bit something more. And this is where I, I thought, okay, I could leave the little black lines in between the little sections on the flowers, but I wanted more of a detail and I wanted to add in just something. So I went to my white Posca, I usually do, I can't help it. You got that black background. It just calls for a nice, wonderful, opposite contrast and so my white marker is going to do it. I could use another lighter color like a yellow but I already had that in the flower so I really needed to distinguish this other line I was going to be creating and it couldn't be yellow so this is what I decided to go to. When I started to do this I also noticed that my white line okay I took it around the flower and I thought I can't stop there. <laughs> I really couldn't. I thought maybe I couldn't. I was like, no, it's not going to work. So I started bringing that white line really into the leaves and the vines and everything else. Now, one other thing you're going to notice here, and I'm going to start doing it right in here. I start to bring in details into the flowers themselves and on the stems with either some dot pattern and some curls. And this really this added to the whole look. It made it just pop. Keep that in mind when you're creating these flowers. You want to be able to bring in some kind of detail somewhere because it's going to grab and it's going to create more interest in the egg itself. And that's why I decided to go ahead. I'd use my white. It's dynamic. It's a nice contrast again against that black but also with those details, make them a little interesting. Create some curls, create some dots, whatever little pattern you can come up with. 
I love my Zentangling. The Zentangling gives me a ton of different patterns to draw from and it makes some of those patterns, especially if I've used them time and time and time again, it just makes me naturally go right into creating those right off the bat. So when I got to this stage of this egg and I thought, okay, we want to go ahead and paint up the base, I decided to go ahead and use that gold, that high reflective gold in the fine tech paints. And I thought, we'll just go ahead and put that on the base. But even though I painted up that base, I was still like not happy with it. <laughs> oh, you're like, okay, I'm still not happy. I still want more. I still want more. There's still something that's missing. And so that's when I started thinking about it and I thought, okay, I have to go to the drill. That's just all there is to it. So I went to my high speed and my low speed drill and I decided to cut a few holes into the eggshell. And really when I think about cutting holes into this eggshell, I actually went a little overboard. <laughs> I couldn't stop. I was like, okay, there's a little area here. I like that. Let's go ahead and, you know, just create a couple of really different sized holes. And the reasoning for this is because we're gonna to start to bring in our rhinestones. I thought this would be a great way to introduce my rhinestones into the design and have it just mesh entirely. And this is where I say, take your time. You finished up this entire egg at this point. When you get to this point where you're gonna start using your little bit of super glue to put in each of these little tiny pointed back rhinestones, oh my gosh. <laughs> when you start putting these into the holes, take your time. You don't wanna have your fingers stick to the eggshell. You don't wanna to have to rip your hand off and then probably break the egg and everything else. Take your time when you do this. You might also wanna go ahead and use a little waxy tip to set each rhinestone into each hole. And I'm using different sized uh, rhinestones here. I wanna say everything from an SS12 on down to an SS6, I do believe, when it comes to size. But, um, you know, take your time. You know, this, you don't wanna, like I said, you don't wanna rush yourself, just breathe. <laughs> and just enjoy putting these rhinestones into each little spot.
okay, so now I've taken the time necessary to get each of those little rhinestones in, and we're going to add in one little feature of some rhinestone chain. And this, I think this was really the frosting on the top of the cake. This was the, the last little thing I really, really needed to have this design really pop the way I wanted it to. And so when I lay this chain, I like to lay it right around the base where the base and the eggshell meet. And I like to place it where I, or I start to place it on the back side of the eggshell, wherever I have the, the join part. I like to start my chain there and then wrap that around the entire base there. All right, so this is the end result in creating this floral design using my Fine Tech watercolor premium paints. Please use this for study and reference. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'm always wondering what you're thinking. Otherwise, I am sending out my biggest hugs to each of you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.